Come on, checkers. Come on. <laughs> ready? We're out here in Henry County today with our two young pups, hoping we can jump some rabbits. So you don't really know what you're smelling for, so uh, we need your kennel mate here. Come on, Josie. <laughs> this pup should be with her. Oh, Checker wants to know what she's smelling for so bad. She's got energy to burn. She's just a young pup. Shows a lot of potential. Really, we'll get in there and hunt and hunt right next to these dogs. But the fact is, when they open up and they jump a rabbit, she's not barking and she's not packing up. Now, that'd be a lot to expect of a six-month-old pup to be doing that. But today's the last day of the season, and I've only got seven or eight months to get her ready to go, packing up and opening up and, and chasing rabbits. And next year could be a really good combo to have these two running together. Josie now is nine months old. She's using her eyes and trying to run that rabbit down by sight. And uh, they gotta re always rely on their nose. Right now, she's, she's overrunning the rabbit, which we're trying to get her out of that. Well, today is the last day of rabbit season. And uh, you know, we knew it was gonna be a long season trying to get these dogs up and running rabbits. And you know, Josie's now nine months old. And I'm pretty happy with where she's at. She's actually knows what she's hunting and she's, uh, she's chasing rabbits and she's packing. Now th this little fella here, can't expect much, he's only six months old. If I want this dog to be really good this year, it's gonna depend on how much time and energy I put into it between now and next rabbit season. And I'll tell you what, to get her jump started, I think what I'm gonna do is to get her in a pen, leave her with a trainer for about 30 days and come back and I'll probably be shocked at how much she's improved. We'll get checkers loaded up and get her down to the kennel. All right, Barry, here she is. This is my little female. All right, good deal. I tell you what, she's uh, really, really has a good temperament. And I've had her out in the, in the field probably about five or six times with a dog that is running. All right. But I've never heard, heard her open up yet. I think she's got a good nose and it's probably going to be a good dog, but she just needs some time. Well, I'm going to give her every opportunity to run, she's, which all I've got in my pens, wild rabbits, and uh, or it's her getting to see and using her nose and tracking in there. That's going to be the you know time for her to do that. Then when she acts like when she starts doing that, then I'll start putting her in a big pen and we're going from there on that. All right, well, let's go take a look at your facility. Okay, you yes, sure will. <laughs> Over this next 30 days, when, when Checker's with you, tell me what uh, how this will all start out. Okay, well, as, like today, what I'll do, I'll put her in, the, in my puppy pen. I'll kind of watch her and let her try to jump her own rabbits. And then after she starts doing that and using her nose and opening up. And if I see that she's doing more sight chasing than using her nose, which I go to the big pen with them. On a pup, I'll put them with the old females that I run them, start them with, because they get them used to them. Mm -hmm. And when they open up, then they'll you know, pack with them. But as far as starting, the pups is, is main thing is getting to use that nose, mm. you know, and opening up on track. There he goes. Just flushed a rabbit right there. Oh, is there? Yeah. It's yeah, right there, over here. Yeah, here, look here. All the dogs probably have the ability with their nose. It's all about desire and, you know, and trusting their nose. And yes, but they gotta have that hunt far as get out there and look for that rabbit. But after they get started, you gotta do it about every day to get that grill in that pup's head. So this is a kind of a jump start. Yes. This is a way to just get her get her up and going. This is what you call your puppy pen. Yes. For so, which in here, which I've got a lot of growth for us, but during the like winter, I'll cut cedars and put in here, which I've got a lot of woven more in here. That breaks that pup up from catching these rabbits and it makes them use that nose more to look for that rabbit mm -hmm. instead of doing so much, you know, wanting to sight chase. Well, I tell you what, we're gonna leave checkers here. I know you're a busy man. You've yeah. got some dogs to work. Yep. Well, Barry, I'm glad to be back out here and yeah. picking up my pup today. So it's been about 30 days. Yep. And you know, when we brought this checkers in, she, uh, She'd been in the woods a little bit, 
she just wasn't opening up on trail and, and wasn't packing at all. Yeah. And uh, after 30 days with you, what, what are we expecting to see today? When after y'all brought her, I started, you know, running her in the puppy pen and she didn't start right off the first, you know, as far as opening up and tracking. But then after two weeks, she was starting to get interested in the forest rabbits, but she still had puppy play in her. Mm -hmm. And then on like on the third week, I noticed when the rabbit come through, when the dogs was running in a big pen, I know she got to be getting really interested. So then I know right then that, you know, she was going to come around with, it, it was just like from daylight to dark. She just, one day she wasn't doing much. Next day she was running with the female and getting out there ahead of the female. If you don't mind, let's go take a look at her and, and, and can we put her in your pen and take yeah, a look at her? Yeah, yeah, we'll take and put her in the pen here and let you, you know, see what she's doing. You know, for her running and opening up, okay. you know. Let's get her out there and see what she'll do. Okay, all right. Hey, checkers. You've been at camp. This is like, this is like a kid <laughs> going to camp. You've been coming here learning all kinds of cool stuff. <laughs> Come on, girl, get in here. Get in here. Hut for him. Hut for him. And now what I like about her too, she's got that nose on the ground and looking for a rabbit. And don't care how thick it is in my big pens and them honeysuckle brar, she's right there in there. You watch her, she's up in that stuff now. That's why I'm saying I'm really pressed with how the pup is from what she wasn't doing till now, a week. That pup has just Oh my. Just, so really she wasn't doing much just two or three weeks ago and then all no, of a sudden. No, no, it's just like she clicked. I mean, I've seen pups do that. Just one day not be doing nothing and next day to come in and then be running. I mean, she don't pay a bit of attention to us. No, there ain't no puppy great. play in her that's right great. now. She's, she's like, No hey, puppy play. You guys don't smell like what I'm looking for. No. Right there. Yeah. There she is, right there at See, I've got that right there, which, now, what it is, see, that makes them use their nose. You yeah. see how that's doing? That, that pup? head came up. Yes. And she was sight, sight chasing. Yeah. Now, now, see, she'll get right in there, and then she'll find that rabbit. That's a great example of why you've got this set up. Yeah, this well, way. what it is, you learn tricks about it. Barry, I, again, I appreciate it. And I'll keep you posted and let you know how this dog does, but uh, we're going to be getting into the woods several days a week between now and I'm going to be excited come November. Checkers, you ready? 